वेलकम बैक टू साइंस क्लासेस चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी शेल स्टार्ट विद द फिफ्थ चैप्टर दैट इज एसिड्स बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट्स बिफोर दैट वील नो द टेस्ट्स एंड वीर एक्चुअली वी फील द टेस्ट एंड वॉट इज द वॉट इज द रीजन फॉर द टेस्ट वी एक्सपीरियंस इन अवर टंग ड्यू टू वॉट वी ऑल एक्सपीरियंस दिस लेट इज नो ऑल अबाउट दिस इन आवर today's chapter that is acids bases and salts hello children welcome to science class of 7th so today we are dealing with fifth chapter that is acids bases and salts we know that we have taste buds in our tongue and we taste different tastes sour sweet salt bitter hot all the states of taste is tastes because of our taste buds present in our tongue then what causes the taste in food so let us know from this chapter few tastes have been caused due to the nature of the items what we eat they are classified as acids bases and salts acids and bases so here we can uh, see here as curd lemon juice orange juice and vinegar taste sour why because this substance is contain acids the chemical nature of the substances which gives the sour taste which is called as acidic because of its acid present in that subject subject as these are sour to taste and they are called as acidic in nature this word acid is taken from the latin word acere which means sour so similarly we have the other taste also which we call as sweet salt and bitter all this so the bases the substances which are bitter in taste and when we touch it we feel slippery that is soapy in nature they are called as bases the nature of substances of such type is said to be basic how can we know this the substance is basic or acidic we use certain indicators to tell us whether it is whether the given substance is basic or acidic there are certain indicators which are available in nature they are turmeric litmus paper china rose petals these substances indicate that the substance given is acidic or basic by changing its own color let us see how it helps us the natural indicator around us so just now we have uh, seen three types of natural substances that are available for us to tell which substance is acidic and which substance is basic so litmus the most commonly used natural indicator is litmus it is extracted from lichens it has a purple color in distilled water when added to an acidic solution it turns red if it is added to a basic solution it turns blue this is available in the form of a solution or in the form of a strips of paper known as litmus paper generally it is available as red and blue litmus paper here we can see a column how we know the name of the acid and how it is where it is found so acetic acid is found in vinegar formic acid is found in ants sting citric acid is found in the fruits like oranges lemons etc lactic acid is found in curd oxalic acid is found in spinach then ascorbic acid vitamin c is present in amla and other citrus fruits tartaric acid is present in tamarind grapes and unripe mangoes etc 
All the assets mentioned above occur in nature. Name of some bases which we found in which item. Calcium hydroxide, we find it in lime water. Ammonium hydroxide in window cleaner. Sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide present in soap. Magnesium hydroxide is present in milk of magnesia. So, we just now seen about the litmus paper that is made of uh, lichens, they are the algae, and they act as an indicator to show us which substance is acidic and which substance is basic by turning its own color. If it is red in color, it, it is, it turns it turns red to red if it is acidic solution and it turns to blue color if it is basic solution. So it is available as red and blue litmus paper. So red litmus paper is used to find out acidic paper, acidic solution, uh, sorry basic solution. When the red litmus is used to test for basic solution, when it is dipped in a basic solution, it turns to blue and blue litmus turns to red when dipped in acidic solution. The same way we have ro china rose petals and also turmeric. You may have seen in rituals of Hindus, they dip the white uh, lungis, mundus, all these uh, white cloths to turn it to yellow color or orange color. How? They will mix up the lime in water turmeric as well as um, chuna well the lime which we take for our with bitter leaf to eat so these two when substances mixed in water and the cloth white cloth is dipped inside the water it turns somewhat a reddish yellow or like orange color so it is the acidic solution that has changed to red the, or the orange substance or to the orange color And next, what we have? See here, using turmeric paste, we can make different greeting cards, beautiful artworks. And using china rose, we can change the different colors. So children here, they have given certain solutions to test on acid or lime. So on a turmeric solution. If we test drops of these solutions for test solutions, you can observe the changes in color and that, that thing you have to mark it down in the remarks column. You can try at your home from whichever the test solution that is available in your house. Then, so uh, one more test solution has been given. Even here, initial color and final cover color, two column is given. In initial color, before the change of color, how its color was, that we have to note it down. And after treating it with the indicator, what the color changes to, that has to be noted down in the final color. Then you will come to know which is acidic and which is basic. So this is what about acids and bases detail what you are studying in this chapter so we can see here coffee is brown and bitter in taste so is it acid or base since it is bitter in taste it is not an acid it is base let us use some of the indicators which is made by not by the natural things but from other chemicals. The, uh, the other chemical or the indicator which we can use is phenolphthalein. When we have equal amount of positive energy and negative energy, it equalizes to normal thing. That is when in a integers you you have already seen in integers if it is plus 5 and minus 5 the answer will be 0 because plus and minus will subtract each other and they get 
cancelled so the answer comes to zero this is how in acidic and basic substance to get neutralized if both acidic nature and basic nature are brought to one level it will go to a neutralized situation which is called as neutralization and it will not be having too much of effects either of acid or of basic so this situation to bring a an acid and a base to a reaction with a reaction to a normal position or situation is known as neutralization the reaction between an acid and a base is known as neutralization the neutralization reaction is in the, this neutralization reaction the substance formed is called salt salt may be acidic basic or neutral in nature so when acid and base is mixed we get, when they react the substance or the product given out is salt and water here since acidic is um, very much strong and basic is very uh, weak substance there is the liberation of heat involved in the reaction it then the substance is converted into salt and water excessive use of chemical fertilizers makes even the soil acidic because plants grow well the soil where is where it is soil is they, they doesn't grow well in soil which is too acidic or more basic it has to be treated to become that is neutralize the soil for being both normal acidic and normal basic then organic matter that releases with the acid which neutralizes the basic nature of the soil and makes the soil fertile if, even in human beings if there is indigestion in stomach the acid is liberated in the stomach and it creates the problem of indigestion and it relieves the gases which make us gas acidic or gastric gastric uh, in our stomach and we feel very much painful even that can be uh, neutralized by the use of milk of magnesia you may have heard this digin gelucil syrup or tablet which neutralizes the acid of the hydrochloric acid to become normal in state and the our stomach will be having a cool effect on its the acidic acid part even an ant bite if ant is bitten we have we are bitten by ant it injects an acidic liquid called formic acid into our skin the effect of acid can be neutralized by rubbing moist baking soda that is sodium hydrogen carbonate this baking soda is nothing but the soda which we use in our cooking while we are preparing bonda bajjis all these things we we'll use the baking soda so this chemical its chemical name is sodium hydrogen carbonate or we have calamin solution you may have heard about lactocalamin where this calamin is uh, present in that thing which contains zinc carbonate to cool down the acidic or neutralize the acidic effect to neither to common no general or normal reaction even soil is treated with certain chemicals like quick lime called calcium so the waste of many factories contain acids if they are allowed to flow into the water bodies the acids will kill fish and other organisms the factory waste are therefore neutralized by adding basic substances so in conclusion we can say that acids and bases have their their own different characters acids are sour to taste whereas bases are bitter in taste and soapy in nature acid turns blue litmus to red whereas bases turn red litmus to blue 
substances which are neither acidic nor basic are called as neutral substances the reaction which happens to bring down the effect of acid or base from higher level to a normal level is called as neutralization and when the reaction takes place the substance formed is salt and water he the heat is evolved in this reaction solutions of substances that show different color in acidic basic and neutral solutions are called as indicators there are several natural indicators like lit litmus china rose and turmeric whereas some of the chemical which we use in a laboratory among them phenolphthalein is also one among them an acid and a base neutralize each other to form a salt a salt may be acidic basic or neutral in nature so children till now we have learnt about the chapter that is acids bases and salts and we have known the differences between acids and bases and we have known what is the final products produced when both of acid and base react with each other and what is new meaning of neutralization and all this from all this we came to know that there are availability of natural indicators which tell us about the substance whether it is acidic or base all these things we have just now learned keep smiling be happy be healthy stay home